Hi everyone, it's Rena, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add different products from Booth onto your Vroid model. So I clearly tried this out myself. I had to make sure I knew all the steps and processes to make sure that when I show you, it actually works effectively. So currently I am rocking this lovely gray sweater with this beautiful little scarf here. Um, it's kind of cold, so you know, winter winter's upon us so yeah let, let's get into this video if you like my makeup I'm going to be doing a makeup I was hoping to do a stream but I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to do that um, you might have caught it if I did do one um, but anyways I'm gonna do a video on how to achieve different makeup looks like such as this one what do you think what do you think I like the little snowflakes I think it's pretty um, I'm going to attempt different styles of eyeliner, eyeshade, eye hood, lid, whatever you name it, I'm going to try it, basically. So if you have any suggestions, eh, leave them down in the comments below. Oh my god, there goes my voice, it's totally cracking. I'm not going through puberty, I swear, I've been through that already, I don't know why it sounded like that. But let's carry on. Alright, so we are on <clears throat> Booth. Oh my lord. So your thing might look completely different from mine um because every single time you turn on booth you might get a different filter of what's hot new arrivals are here on booth um so this is where i got my lovely winter outfit from also just a quick side note all the uh, materials used in this video will be provided in the links down below so if you're wondering how to find these ones i'll give you that link to where you don't have to go search for them for yourself so let's continue watching so yeah our goal today is to pick out a whole outfit top to bottom we are going to actually just create a whole avatar with free items so let's see what we can find so for first we're going to start off with skins um i've already shout out um b5 dream here beautiful character models love them absolutely love them but today i'm going to go for a different art style so i'm going to go into the search engine here and type in vroid Oops. skin and see what we can find i'm obviously i'm going to try to look for free ones only this one's not bad, but that's paid. Um, I also have it age restricted, cause you need that. You need that one sometimes on this. It's mm, mm. A little, it's a little out there. This one is cute. Good for a chibi kind of character. I think what I'm actually want to do, I want to create something with. Okay, so yeah, I was looking around. I really like this outfit. So we're gonna get this outfit. I really like these wings. They're on the extra side. So um, it's also free, <laughs> free.com. So we're gonna add that. Um, let's try this one. This is actually kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, that, that one can works. I like this, I like this. Um, hair, okay, next hair, next stop. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna try this one. Miss Mams, thank you for letting me down you, load you. Okay, next. Um, I think I want to change hair texture. I know it comes with the hair texture. I'm also going to come up with a different um, hair style as a just in case that's not fitting the look that I'm trying to create. Okay, so let's go into, uh, oh yeah, they have a whole YouTube section. V-Roid VTuber section. Oh, I also kind of minus the uh, awkward provocative thing I'm going to I kind of like this skin tone right here I'm gonna go with with uh what D I, yeah D okay final answer D <laughs> Ooh, we can look for eyes okay so I stumbled across these and then I was going with hair textures um, I saw this hair texture earlier it would probably help if I you know downloaded this first Ooh, brain, slow down. Okay, hair texture. So, like, I don't know what kind of vibe I'm going for, but I love this hair texture. Mm, gazing. Um, no. We are going to look for, uh, jewelry? I don't know what else. We have, we have an outfit that consists of the dress do we need shoes you know what I actually don't know what's in that 
what's does it come with shoes oh it has shoes okay cool we're gucci great awesome love that for me okay i found this one um a little while ago so i think i'm gonna try this one it's very simple we'll see i feel like it's simple enough to go with the style that we're going for okay now that we have all our pieces let's add them into yeah, um what's the software called vroid wow okay <laughs> give me a second okay so now we are going to go onto our desktop we're going to go into our little search menu and type in run so you're going to type in percentage app data percentage okay now you're going to run that it's going to bring you up this little page here this little window is going to pop up onto your screen we're going to go past the roaming we're going to go back to the app data and go to localo we're going to scroll down until we see uh where'd you go pix pix iv is that roman numerals is that what we're going for um so because i have the original vroid and the new one i have two so i have to kind of figure out which one's which so this is the new one so your menu should look like this so you're gonna want to have this window open and then custom items over here so now we're just going to go back to the area that you saved all your custom files all right so some of this stuff is either going to be in a uh, little image png that's the word i'm looking for png file or some of them is going to be zip folders so you're just going to extract your files so now we know we have i think that's all of them uh all our files I'm going to open up the new Vroid and then I'm also going to open up the old one. So if you do get some from the old one, you can see how to transfer into the new one. So let me stop rambling and open up the software. So we are here. Hello. Hi. This is my Vroid. We're going to open this. We're going to create a new file, a new character. We're going to make it a female because I feel like it. So we're going to do that. Once it's done loading, we're going to start with the new model. So we're going to head over to body. I mean, technically, I could just overwrite this one, but I always add in a second one just to be on the safe side. We're gonna try this one, because why not? Okay, next, we're gonna do the face. Let's get a skin. There's a lot going on in this neighborhood today. Just click on this here. Texture. We are going to, once again, add. So now your character probably looks like this, a little scary looking, if this is how you have it. Obviously it looks like this because we have some other features that we are not currently using. Um, I'm just doing this one. There we go, that little piece there. And then the blush here, cheeks, 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 skin, nope. This one, that's lips, cheeks here. I'm just gonna turn that off like that. This looks kind of funny just because of the eye shape we currently have. Um, obviously we are going to manipulate that. We're going to make some uh, new eyelashes. Oh, this is eyeliner. Whoops. That makes sense. Okay, so we got some thick, thick eyeliner. Um, next we are going to do the eyelashes. Okay, now we have some eyelashes. A little wispy, wispy lashes. Cute. Love that. And then, what else did we get in that package? I actually don't remember. Eyebrows. Let's see. Just stamp on stamp off and then you just have to manipulate the settings of the face i'm just gonna operate all these items thank you all thank you all okay cool finish maneuvering this around to make it look more appeasing to you guys hold on okay wow. so that's what we're gonna work with for the face i think she looks pretty cute right now um next we're gonna work on the outfit because uh all right, so we have the outfit. It took me a few trial and errors to get it to look exactly like this, but I will do a speed run of how this works. So for the dress, I took, um, I think it was just like a standard dress model. Let me just, yeah, I took this one here, the just standard dress model. And let's go into the textures so you can see how I laid everything out so that way you kind of understand what's going on here. So if you're seeing little holes, patches missing, I just took some parts out of the original texture just so that way when the character is moving, you're not getting it um, 
bleeding through the surface. What I mean by that is but basically when the bottom textures of something that you're wearing is surfacing on the top um, and uh, it's not supposed to look like that. Clipping! That's the word I was looking for. Clipping! Yeah, so I just got rid of some of the extra fabric so that way it doesn't clip. But basically as you can see I have one long dress that has the um, main outfit like this on there then we I added another long dress texture that has j just the skirt so that's why we have the section underneath here and then I just change around the parameters so it fits directly underneath it and it's not on the same layer of that and then I took a long coat and put that over top to give us the jacket and that's what I mean by like if you didn't do that you're gonna see parts of this shirt through the jacket so for the shoes it was basically the same concept I got the heel type shoe um, just put in the shoe and then I added a skin overlay um, which was like the undergarments basically um, and then put that on so that way you got this kind of look here and then for the socks you saw me do that I believe I should have had a clip for that and that is it for the outfit so moving on to the hair okay as I was saying before it seems like the hair texture that we're looking for here or not hair texture the whole hair model of this is an actual physical model um, because it has that dot vroid file uh, type instead of a dot vroid custom blah 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 so I'm just gonna quickly load that into vroid all right it pays to read instructions is right here so basically we go into here we're gonna click on open it should work there I have it here hopefully this works failed I don't know what you're talking about because it's right there I knew I should have got a second option for hair huh Okay, so this is my backup plan for hair. We're gonna use this one. Um, uh, yeah, 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 we'll go, go with this one. It's different, totally different. Play around textures. So now we're gonna have to go to the thing that I was telling you about. Um, it also has instructions on how to do it on the Booth website of how to actually upload the hair. So now I'm just gonna open that file. <laughs> And I'm just going to slide these, oops, into here. And it will do its thing. Close that, close this. Um, I don't really need it. I'm going to close that. going to close Vroid, then we reopen it so that way it saves the changes. And we're going to click on our character. Okay, right, so there we go. We have the front of the hair. Um,. Do we have the overall extension? I guess not. No, it'd be nice if they put it in overall, but I understand. It makes more sense if you were trying to give these out to people. I'm just like, I don't know where everything is. So, girl, where is the rest of your hair? Here we go, this front. Ah, oh, there we go. I was like, where is the rest of your hair? Um, yeah, fun. So that's how you upload hair into Vroid. Obviously, you just have to reconstruct it in like terms of location of how you want it to sit. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just gonna change this whole look just because I can. Okay, we are gonna edit this. I'm gonna change the hair color, I'm gonna change the texture of the hair because I also got additional hair textures so why don't I use that so this is actually a hairstyle I came up with a, a little while ago because I'm making it for a commission but I'm really digging these little add additions to the hair um, yeah and it's totally a vibe she's so cute with the little hat and the little flick here alfalfa I'm not sure if I feel how I'm feeling this part here though like this front piece I'm not sure how I'm not feeling about that um. all right so this is the final product of the free assets that we found here on booth um, so I just added a two-toned texture to that front piece of the hair I think that pulled it off nicely um, just a reminder to all this is a hairstyle that I created it's not on booth it's definitely not free because it's a custom made hair 
style that I made for a client. I just really wanted to see how it looked with the hat. And I really like it. So that's the end of this character. Now moving on to the next. All right, so for the second character, I don't have to show you the whole skin uh, texture adding. We're using the second texture that we got. Um, we're just using the older Unity version so I can show you how to upload the hair pack if you got one that uses the old Unity. So everything else is the same, adding the hair, the changing the facial features. Obviously there's less in the old one, but the hair is completely different. So as you can see, there is a part where you have to add in a preset. So we're going to go back to that file for hair. Um, you're going to type in, go into the hair preset file, type in preset number whatever i did 18 hoping that it was going to say number 18 because that was the next one i copied everything in that file and then placed it into that preset 18 file so once you've copied and pasted that new file information you're going to close Feroid and then restart it again so that way it saves the information and it's able to load it and then basically you just go to the hair section and click on that preset look for the preset 18 for some reason my change to preset zero and that's okay we just use that one and there's the wings and then you could just add it into the new unity so one thing i did notice is that you have to have build your hair on top of that one all right you guys so that is the end of today's video um i just changed this character's outfit this is also another free outfit i just decided to make it different um from the other ones since this one uh in order to uh do anything with these wings you would have to mold the hair with the wings um so i don't feel like doing all that so that's basically it i just took a regular dress and then slapped this one on from uh, booth uh, let me see if I can find bam here this is the dress I got I just picked this one I don't know what this part is maybe it has the, the whole crown with it I don't know I didn't decide to check and find out I love the transparency of the dress yeah that's that's it I mean I, it could be more solid if you want to make your avatar's body flushed in more but I decided not to but anyways yeah so that's it for today's video and I hope it helped you in any form or fashion and if it did please give me a like down in that bar below and I hope to see you in the next one take care everyone bye